Well, I'm excited. I, I've never eaten a Bob's Burgers burger. I hope I don't eat a toothpick, because then I'll die on camera. Like many of you out there, I instantly fell in love with Bob Belcher and his family-run burger joint on the cartoon series, Bob's Burgers. As a chef, many parts of Bob's life in the kitchen resonate with my own. So you can imagine how excited I was to link up with the man who voices Bob, the legendary John Benjamin, to nerd out about the show and to bring some of these cartoon burgers to life. You know, as a chef, right now I'm currently holding a hat of the ambassadors of all the chefs out there. We are huge fans of uh, Bob's yeah. Burger. That's a, a, a really good consequence of the show. Yeah, I mean, like, it nails how to be a small business owner. That's funny. And being a chef. Because right. I, I had a food truck for three years. So did Bob. Well, well for, one, um, yeah, for, for one, one episode. One episode. I would go through the same growing pains that the Belcher family would go through. Right? That's like, funny. Everything on Bob's at some point has happened to somebody. That's what I'm saying. Like, this show just, like, makes every chef who's been in the industry for more than a year they can relate to bob you always see the regular menu in the background it's like burger cheeseburger it's very very plain yeah and then he has this burger of the day at some point you get so tired of making the same thing over right. and over yeah that you have to let your creative side unleash yeah. right i used to do a daily special it gets to show the customer like who you really are. The Lauren Bouchard, who you know, you right. know, and he's the creator of the show. We always have a running argument about whether he's really good or really bad, right? Or like mediocre, right? And Lauren always sort of falls on the fact that Bob, I think, is sort of more like what you're saying. His character is more about like he's really good at it, and um, the burger of the day is like a creative inspiration that keeps him fresh. Is right. a big part of him, and I always had sided on the fact that he's, no one's ever in the restaurant. <laughs> right. So I just went with the numbers. As a chef, I wanted to see how it would become a reality. I did a whole pop-up here in New York City where I got to make the burgers from the show. So I want to take you on a burger journey through my eyes as Bob. You know I do have a burger limit. I can only eat like eight. <laughs> So this is the baby you could try of my car burger. It has fried pickles as wheels, feta stuffed in the burger, and it has a sour cream and chive sauce. Nice. Like this is like a, it's an outrageous burger. Like you, there's fucking wheels on a burger. <laughs> it's almost stony. Like, yeah. you know, like this is something I would make after smoking a blunt. It's possible young Bob did that. Yeah, young Bob probably did Maybe that. Maybe did that. How I would tell the customers to eat this burger. Put it on the burger? Yeah, just stuff it in the burger. All right, here we go. Let's do it. I'm excited. I, I've never eaten a Bob's Burgers burger. It's fantastic. So, I hope you like it. Yeah. I hope I don't eat a toothpick. Because oh. then I'll die on camera. Oh man, that's really good. Right? That was really good. It has like that sour cream and onion. Yeah. Nice oniony flavor. I mean, this is pretty rich. The fat is salty, and then the pickles are cutting through the fat. It's a well conceived burger. What do you totally think? Totally solid. Really, right? Yeah, really good. I, I like that the show uh, is like a cookbook now. It shows you who Bob is. He's a creative burger freak. Uh, that's right. Burger two. All right. Never been feta, foot feta-ish burger. This particular burger has feta crumbled throughout the meat. It has a ciabatta bun. Uh, I use a, a burger bun that looks like ciabatta. Baby spinach, Dijon mayo sriracha sauce. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Simpler uh, presentation, simple. but a lot going on. There's a lot, it's, it's flavor for sure. There's lots of flavor. Go for it. Well, I mean, I immediately like the mustard a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like much tangier than the last one, mm -hmm. which is maybe a little sweeter. Plus you got a little heat, which is good. Yeah, I like this one a lot, but no wheels. Yeah, you like, know, that's just like once you've had they wheels. They wanted it more animated, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. There was something that was unappealing to the guests when they saw the feta. In the burger. In the burger. They were just like, it's pink. My cheese is pink. It's oh, too yeah. rare. Really? Mm-hmm. That doesn't bother me. 
but it's so good. Like the flavors are there. No, oh, really good. They were wrong. They were wrong. Yeah, it was they were wrong. dead wrong. So as a as a cook, as a Bob's Burger fan, right? It's been my dream to make my own burger of the day. Hopefully one day it'll make it onto the show. Who no, knows? No. But I've created a burger. I've channeled my Bob Belcher. I think I've cracked a code, man. I need Bob Belcher's stamp of approval. Let's do it. All right. This is what I think should be on the next burger of the day. I'm calling this Fry Me to the Moon. Inspired by Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Also means something to me because I love the movie Wall Street. I just moved to New York, and then the beginning of the movie has that fly me to the moon. And it's just like oh, yeah, iconic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Could have done the greed is Gouda. Right? Oh, greed is Gouda. Yeah, See? Yeah, there you go. Well, all right. Well, you know what? Your... You could call this that too. We'll slash it because this has Gouda in it. Okay, all right. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh... After the show, after we cut the cameras, uh, Alvin and I realized, well, actually, I realized that the uh, Greed is Gouda was not an original idea by me. It was already in Bob's Burgers. I, at the time, I took credit for it. I feel bad, uh, but I just want you to know that's how good the show is. It came up with the idea that I thought I came up with, but it wasn't my idea at all. It was Bob's brother. So just wanted to point it out and say I apologize for claiming that idea as mine. It wasn't. So I'm going to keep doing this with my drink because I don't have any good ideas left. So what I have here is a croissant, which looks like the moon. Like a crescent moon. Exactly. Right? This is called Midnight Moon Gouda okay. by Cypress Grove. Here's the crazy part. It's like everyone thinks a burger should be round. I want to make this burger the shape of a crescent moon. Okay, okay. to fit the yeah. croissant. You see, I'm going extra. I'm channeling my bob okay. here. I'm like, this, is my, this is my pickle wheel. And that is uh, uh, cow meat or human? No, no, no. This is... This is not human meat. Okay, that was the original concept of the show. Do you know that? No. Yeah, the show first started where the the family were cannibals. Really? Yeah, and we like the first iteration of the show. Oh my god. That's true. That's a trip. That's yeah, and then uh, the network was like, no, no, <laughs> that's a terrible show. This is inspired by the Tennessee deep fried burger. Okay. Never had that. I like to season it. Cocaine. This is salt. Okay, that's fine. Since it's thin, you only want to season one side. A little bit of pepper. Cocaine would have been, you know, apropos of Wall Street. But yeah. whatever, whatever. I right. They have separate interests. Oh, nice. What this is doing is it's creating a cross. Then I have a deep fried pickle spear. This is done. See how it like fits the shape of the bad boy? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So I got this cheese and I melted it down Damn. and I made a cheese sauce. This one might kill me. Throwing this lid on here. This I feel is super Bob's Burger. We're throwing on the moon man. Fly me to the moon. American flag. Yep. This is the fry me to the moon burger. It has the moon man. Yep. Everything's shaped like a crescent. I get it. I hope you like it. I'm going to try it. Did you get pickle in there? I did. OK, what do you think? Can I be honest? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit, dude. Set. Fucking took pictures with it. Never had a fried burger before, so that's good. I would definitely advocate for this to be on the show. Fry me to the moon. Greed is Gouda. Greed is Gouda. Mission accomplished. It's we gonna, did it. It's gonna happen. Thanks, man. Oh, no problem, man. This is Appreciate great. Appreciate it. <laughs>
the camera away from me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs>